absolutely chucking it down today. We're going to get soaking wet. So we've got George back. Say hi, George. Hello. Right, we're coming out just to do a couple of inspections. The first one, um, we've had a property redecorated, recarpeted, and some new windows. So we're just checking it out just to see what it's like. Let's go and have a look. It's absolutely horrible. Right, new windows. Really nice. New front door. New fencing panels. Yeah, much better, isn't it? Are they like loose? No, it was like that before. Much, much better. Right. Okay. Oh, I'm going to have to hide underneath here. So we've had all the fencing done down here. We had that done last year. We've had all the fencing done up to that point there because it was just completely overgrown with ivy and it was a mess. We are going to work on that bit eventually, but, you know, it is a work in progress. Let's go inside. See, we've had a, a cigarette bin done on the wall. Had a cigarette bin done. They don't use it. It's still putting the wall out on the floor. I am getting soaked. Not good. I don't do rain. Right, come on in. So the only room that hasn't been done is this room here, apparently. Right, so new window, because that was a bit tatty before. New window, nice. Much, much better. The old ones were made out of wood, which obviously are absolutely no good at all. Right, so we have had new carpets. I'm not going to take my shoes off because um, it's just one of those things. Um, kitchen looks tidy enough, doesn't it? So, high doors have been wedged open. So, new window here that was made out of wood. Now it's not, which is much better. Um, where's the light switch? Behind the wedged open door. Right. Oops, that's slammed. We've only just had a property inspection here and, you know, the fire doors need to be kept closed. We can't keep them open. The thing is, right, people say, oh, yeah, but, you know, you can't live like that in the fire doors. And if they're wedged open, they might as well not even be here. We might as well just take the doors off completely. The fire doors are designed, they're FD30 doors, so they're designed to keep the tenants safe for 30 minutes if in the event of a fire. And these strips here, they're called insumescent strips. They're designed to expand if it gets hot to prevent the smoke from going in the tiny gap around the door frame. And of course, if it's not being used properly, it's not going to save anyone's life. So they do need to be kept closed. Sorry, guys. Right. So nice new carpet. Looks good. Um, it's been painted. Yeah, it doesn't look the same colour, does it? No, it doesn't look the same colour, though. Right, so again, new window at the back, that was metal framed. So the windows at the front there were uh, wooden and that was metal framed. No, it's not. Now it's UPVC. Right, let's have a look downstairs in the cellar. Let's watch your step. Now, the cellar's not really been decorated, but oh yeah, I like to come down and have a look to make sure there's nothing untoward. So it is a cellar, it is damp, it is stinky. We have got some damp coming through here. Um, the only thing we can do really to prevent that from happening is to um, tank it. And tanking it means putting a mem taking off this plaster, putting a membrane on the brick, and then the membrane is like a trickle. So if, the, the, if it gets wet, water will trickle down the membrane and it will go out and be pumped out with a sump pump. And then we can dry line over the top of it and skim it. That would work. But to be honest with you, it's just a cellar. It's just used for a little bit of storage and nothing else. Now, there is a toilet down here. Now, we have to put this in for licensing purposes, even though it's never used. So we have got a serviceable toilet. It works perfectly. Nobody ever uses it. It's on a sunny flow. It doesn't, I mean, it needs a good old clean. It's mold. But it never, never gets used but it does tick the box for licensing purposes. Okay. Yeah, Sai said it needed emptying, didn't he? So we've got a de um, dehumidifier down there just to keep the, the damp at bay as best we can. Not that it does a huge amount of good. Oh yeah, it's on, it's on, it's working. Right, so that's the downstairs. Let's have a quick look at the stairs. Last time we came up the stairs here, the carpet was in pretty bad order. 
it wasn't in very good condition at all. It doesn't smell so damp down there now, does it? Much better. I'll put the light on. Right, so we've got the mat. So when people come in, much, much fresher carpet. Looks much better upstairs, doesn't it? Let's have a quick look on. So this property is over three floors. It's getting dirty quite quickly though again, look. Isn't it? It's not been made that long. It's nice, nice and tidy. Smells fresh. That's good. Let's have a quick look in the bathroom, make sure there's no black mould on the ceiling. Yeah, it's tidy. Really clean. It's really nice. Very pleased. So we've got another floor up the top as well, on the very top floor. Yeah, it's looking good. Cool. Yeah. I'm quite pleased. It looks really fresh, really smart, and just tidies it up you really know, for another couple of years. I'm just hoping that the carpet is going to be hard wearing enough. So this is a timer stat unit here. Um, I'm going to go to another property in a minute and show you that there as well. But this just helps us not control the heating because you can't control it, but it helps us keep on top of the bills. And I'll explain to you how that works on another video. Right. So it's here, I think. There's a switch again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So this property has got um, one, two, three toilets and two shower rooms to make it um, usable for licensing. So in Worcester, for every six people, we need to have two bathrooms and toilets, but one of the toilets needs to be separate. That means three, effectively. That's why we got the third one downstairs. This is the other bathroom here. So we've just been up there to, to the, the top floor bathroom. And this is the other one here. I'm just making sure there's no black mold. Um, so this was a utility room when we bought the house and we just turned it into a shower room and it works absolutely perfectly. It looks nice and clean, nice and fresh um, and obviously quite well maintained. Good. Let's just turn the lights off because there's no one in there. I think I turned them on when I came in. Right, that's it for this one. So we're going to go over into um, another property now on the other side of Malvern, which is a huge one. We can have a look there, just see what's going on. Kind of do the same thing, just have a quick inspection. Don't forget to like and follow, folks. If you like my raw style of videos, if you like how we do things here, literally just keeping it real with no BS, click on that like button, click on that follow button, and don't forget to leave a comment. See you in the next one.